When we look at embodied carbon or upfront carbon emissions, they're often known as the hard to abate sectors. So it's complex. Embodied carbon uh, contributes 50% of whole life cycle carbon in buildings. So it's absolutely essential. We come together, we collaborate, and we're also really generous with our knowledge so that we lift the bar for everyone to get to the future that we need to achieve. These are complex, difficult problems that are not going to be solved by single organisations. They have to be done collaboratively. You have to take this, what we would describe as a systems view, so that you know, we're bringing together the demand side of the issue, we're bringing the supply side to solve these, these, these issues in a collaborative way. Bringing the right people in the room um, and having a mature conversation about what needs to change in regulation with government as well as what needs to change with uh, manufacturers and producers in construction materials and building products. Because not every person or company in the ecosystem has the answer. So bringing people together to spread risk, spread cost, and also collaborate on ideas is really important. We've seen this incredible do tank come together. I love the action part of it. I love the fact that we're talking about actually doing and collaborating and delivering on impact. Their learnings are coming in and driving and impacting our projects that we're delivering for our clients. So it's a really, it's a two way feedback, which is really positive. We're meeting CEOs, we're meeting high levels of government, uh, and there is a real drive from everyone involved uh, to lift the industry together. This was the first time, the first opportunity that the entire supply chain was brought together to solve common issues. To have our voice heard, but also to contribute, collaborate and eventually drive change. This is the point in time when we will be looking at sustainability as a whole new way of doing business. And I think MECLA is really bringing together all the important participants. To have everybody in the room today was really good and I think if we can move together as an industry we're going to achieve net zero much quicker, um, hopefully a lot quicker than our 2050 targets. The government is one of the strong supporters of MECLA because we see we need to collaborate together to get a sustainable outcome for the state of New South Wales and hopefully contribute more broadly to that as a nation. Collaboration is important because not one part of the industry, not one supplier is going to achieve this on their own. Going all the way from procurement through to the developers and the supplies, it's a no-brainer as far as being part of this movement going forward. That is going to happen anyway. We all need to work together, support each other and really show that Australia can actually adopt best practices and to achieve that we need to collaborate, we need to deliver a win-win outcome for our people, for our businesses and for the environment. You're either inside the tent talking about those real issues or outside the tent observing and it's better to be inside the tent. <laughs>